So last week we poured these. You guys saw that on the last video that we did. So today we're gonna take them out the molds and hopefully we don't have any issues. And then we're gonna start the process on another one because I wanna go to Marici with at least three molds. So let's take these apart. That's pretty sick, dude. <laughs> That's pretty sick. It's gonna be a baseball bat. I don't know if I touched base on this, but we got a visitor today. This is my friend Z God, Zach Godlewski from Houston. He's in the shop today, so he's actually making a pin with Leo. Um, he's learning a little bit, but he's watching us do our process. This is coming out sick too. Oh man, that's gonna look good. tried to do is we cut skateboards into squares and then we drilled a hole through them and stacked them vertically on a dowel. So there's actually through all this there's a dowel and that's supposed to keep it strong but whenever we started stacking them I didn't account for the dowel flexing and because of that it was basically a failure. So what we did to remedy the situation was I made a mold for epoxy and we put this in and we just filled in all of the voids and the whole thing we casted it in epoxy and now we got to turn it <laughs> so we'll bring it to marucci and see what they can do I got an idea. So we wanna bring three blanks to Marucci. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna reuse this mold, I'm gonna reconstruct it, and then I'm gonna take a bunch of my trash, my scrap pieces, and we're gonna cut them up and put them in here. And then we're gonna fill this with epoxy and something weird is gonna come out. <laughs> like, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be cool if it doesn't blow up. So 
that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start reconstructing this mold and then I'm gonna take my trash pieces and put them in here and we're gonna cover them with epoxy and it's gonna be sweet. All right, so we got the mold reconstructed and now we're gonna take some scrap pieces and put them in here and do the first thin coat using Total Boat's Thick Set Fathom. So. Scraps. We're gonna use this to make something cool. So all these scraps we're gonna cut Failed projects. This is a failed project. We're gonna put these in here and make something cool. thin coat on this. We'll give this a couple days to cure and then we'll come back with the deep pour. And I'm not gonna lie, I really can't wait to see. How, I'm more excited for this one because I have no idea what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look nuts. So we'll see. Shout out Marushi. All right. So the other, I don't know, I guess two weeks ago, whenever we were filming the previous video, we poured these, okay? And these are we, we took broken skateboards and we put them in our mold and we then we used Total Boat's Thick Set Fathom with a black diamond cobalt blue pigment and we poured these guys, okay? So if you come over here, we have another, another pour being done right here. These aren't cured yet, but both of, both of those over there and both of these over there, over here are gonna be turned into our table legs and this is kind of what a finished piece looks like or this one's midway through the finishing process needs a few more coats. But you can see we have the epoxy and we have the broken skateboards and we've shaped it into a rounded table leg with mounts. And then this mounts onto the bottom of our tables. So that's kind of what this is and it's a quick background behind it. All right, so we're leaving for the day. We got a lot done. Not as much as I wanted to get done, but it's still a really good day. Um, made progress on the Marucci project and demolded two blanks and started the process on another one, the random one, which I'm really excited about that. About that. Leo finished up all the pins for our drop this weekend. And Dustin crushed out chopsticks and we taught our friend Zach how to make a pin in the process. So, it's a good day. <laughs> <laughs>